Biogen Inc. previously known as Biogen IDEC, is an American multinational biotechnology company based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, specializing in the discovery, development, and delivery of therapies for the treatment of neurodegenerative, hematologic, and autoimmune diseases to patients worldwide. Topic history Biogen was founded in 1978 in Geneva by several prominent biologists, including Kenneth Murray of the University of Edinburgh, Philip Allen Sharp of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Walter Gilbert of Harvard who served as CEO during the startup phase, Heinz Schaller, University of Heidelberg and Charles Weissmann, University of Zurich who contributed the first product Interferon Alpha. Gilbert and Sharp were subsequently honored with Nobel Prizes. Gilbert was recognized in 1980 with the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in understanding DNA sequencing, while Sharp received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1993 for his discovery of split genes. In 2003, Biogen merged with San Diego, California based IDEC Pharmaceuticals, formed in 1985 by Ivor Royston, Howard Berndorf, and others, and adopted the name Biogen IDEC. After the merger, Biogen IDEC became the third largest biotechnology company in the world. Following shifts in research core areas, the company has since shortened its name, reverting to simply Biogen. Biogen stock is a component of several stock indices such as the S&P 100, S&P 500, S&P 1500, and Nasdaq 100 and the company is listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol BIIB. In May 2006, the company announced it would acquire cancer specialist Conforma Therapeutics for $250 million. Later in the same month, the company announced its intention to acquire Fumapharmag, consolidating ownership of Fumaderm and BG12, an oral fumarate, which is being studied for the treatment of multiple sclerosis and psoriasis. In January 2007, the company announced it would acquire Syntony Pharmaceuticals for up to $120 million, gaining Syntonix's lead product for hemophilia B as well as the technology for developing inhalable treatments. In February 2013, Bloomberg broke the news that Biogen was planning to pay Elan $3.25 billion for the full rights to Tizabra, used to treat multiple sclerosis. In January 2015, the company announced that it would acquire Convergence Pharmaceuticals for up to $675 million, with the acquisition aiming to accelerate the development of Convergence's pipeline, in particular CNV1014802, a phase 2 small molecule sodium channel blocking candidate. In October 2015, the company announced that it would lay off 11% of its workforce, effective immediately. Topic. Bioverative In May 2016, the company announced that it would spin off its hemophilia drug business Eloctate and Alprolix into a public company. In August, the company announced that the spun-off company would be called Bioverative, in order to show heritage with Biogen. The company would trade on the NASDAQ exchange under the ticker symbol BIVV and would look to be spun off in early 2017. Topic. Acquisition history The following is an illustration of the company's major mergers and acquisitions and historical predecessors This is not a comprehensive list. Topic. Finances For the fiscal year 2017, Biogen reported earnings of $2.539 billion, with an annual revenue of $12.274 billion, an increase of 7.2% over the previous fiscal cycle. Biogen's shares traded at over $289 per share, and its market capitalization was valued at over $63 billion in November 2018. The company ranked 245 on the 2018 Fortune 500 list of the largest United States corporations by revenue. Topic. Products Topic Pipeline Biogen has focused its R&D efforts on the discovery and development of treatments for patients with high unmet medical needs in the areas of neurology, hematology and immunology. Investigational MS Medicines, Daclizumab High Yield Process DAC-HYPE, is being developed as a potential once-monthly subcutaneous injection in the treatment of relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis RRMS. DAC Hype is being developed in collaboration with AbbVie, Inc. In June 2014, the companies announced positive top line results from the Phase 3 Decide clinical trial, where DAC Hype demonstrated superiority over interferon beta 1A in annualized relapse rate. 
Antilingo 1, BIIB033 Opacinumab, is the first candidate being investigated for its potential to remyelinate and repair neurons damaged by MS. Currently in Phase 2 trials, Biogen has several candidates in Phase 1 and 2 clinical trials in neurodegenerative and immunological diseases, including MS, Alzheimer's disease, neuropathic pain, spinal muscular atrophy, and lupus nephritis. Phase 2A, Antilingo 1 molecule Opacinumab in acute optic neuritis, Phase 2B, Anti Tweak monoclonal antibody in lupus nephritis, Phase 2A, STX100 in patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis Phase 2, Neublastin for neuropathic pain in 2013 Phase 3, BIIB037 Adekarnumab, Biogen's first clinical study in Alzheimer's disease Phase 1 half, BIIB067 ISIS-SOD1RX for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, in collaboration with Ionis Biogen also has several development agreements in place with Ionize Pharmaceuticals to collaborate to leverage antisense technology in advancing the treatment of neurological disorders. In February February 2012, Biogen formalized a joint venture with Samsung, creating Samsung Bioepis. This joint venture brings Biogen's expertise and capabilities in protein engineering, cell line development, and recombinant biologics manufacturing to position the joint venture so Biogen can participate in the emerging market for biosimilars. In early 2014, Biogen entered into an agreement with Azi, Inc., to jointly develop and commercialize two of their candidates for Alzheimer's disease, which have the potential to reduce A beta plaques that form in the brains of patients, as well as to slow the formation of new plaques, potentially improving symptoms and suppressing disease progression. Biogen also also has since 2015 an agreement with AGTC for the development of gene therapy for ophthalmologic diseases such as X-linked retinoschisis XLRS and X-linked retinitis pigmentosa XLRP, and up to three other genetic diseases. To this aim, Biogen paid AGTC $124 million, including an equity investment of $30 million, and up to $1, $1 billion in future milestones. <laughs>